What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Chuck Redland here with us. Play Sly 3: Honor Among Thieves, Part 17. We are here. We are here with the Master Thief challenges for Episode 4. And so you can see the first one: Big Air, Big Air in China. Use Murray's ball move to reach all the way points without taking damage and before time expires. So I don't believe this. I'm, I'm not sure if this is the. I don't believe this is the. Yeah, I was gonna say this isn't the starting section. This is a a different challenge altogether, actually. I guess they just didn't have enough uh, in in episode uh, jobs that they wanted to do. Oh crap! Uh, probably there goes my chance of getting it. I believe I have to gain enough height to get on top of this particular roof there. Come on, are you kidding me? I wonder if I can use this to bounce up. No. Didn't really think so, but you know, it was worth a try. give me some help, but no. I need to... I, I want to retry. There's not enough time for me to do everything that I need to do. You can't take damage, okay. That sucks. Uh... <sighs> All the way up there. That, that, that sucks even worse, I guess. Across the river now. Well, have to be careful, especially on these angled roof tops. It's a shame they're not straight. That's going to make this a lot easier. Ah, oh, come on. No, I, I just about had this stinking thing. Are you kidding me? What you have to do is swing out wide a little bit. You gotta go next. Come on, give me those stinking waypoint. Where's it at? There it is. Uh, you have to swing out wide to try to get around the rooftop. E I guess the edge of the rooftop, right under, uh, directly underneath. Well, I guess r right above you. So that that does stink, of course. That makes it so much more difficult. I guess I don't actually have to break that. Uh, let me see. Oh, wow, that's quite a height. I don't believe I'm going to be able to make it in the time that I have. Well. I don't think I would have made it in time, because... <laughs> Use this boat to help gain, shave a, a few seconds from enough time from having to cross the river, which I did, and that that helped. And thankfully, the boat seems to appear right underneath you every time you you start, so that definitely helps. All right, so the waypoint's right over there on top of that building. I'm not sure you may be able to, to roll. Uh, if, if you remember the, from the ball mission in the, the first episode, you really couldn't roll too much, uh, or you couldn't roll around because you wouldn't gain, you, you would lose your, your height, 
And since that is such a, a large, you're going to have to jump quite a bit to be able to get up to that. That's why I'm thinking that you have to keep your your jumps going, but I'll just try rolling. And hopefully I can use whatever I have around me to try to gain some height. Come on. There we go. No, no, there we go. So I have to go right up there. Is that going to be high enough? Just barely. Actually, no, it isn't. You know, especially because I hit, stick and hit that monkey and it ruined my... Come on, you see you're sitting there bouncing off the monkey and you sit there and lose your your height. Come on, I bounced off the stinking wall. Ah, oh, wow. No, I just about had it. That, that was it. If I hadn't have got caught on the stinking wall, that would have been it. Nope, I guess the boat doesn't spawn directly underneath you every time. Sucks, but there's nothing you can do about it. But thankfully, you really don't need the boat. It, it does help. <sighs> I hate these stupid roofs. Quite a bit of time doing this. I don't believe I would be able to to break out of the ball form to run, so that's why I haven't attempted that. If you again, if you remember from the uh, first episode, if you remember that the, the job I did there, one of the the match the challenges that I did there, I. Uh, lost. Uh, I believe I failed automatically because I had I did jump out or get out of the ball form. Come on, don't do this to me right now. There's no way. Took too much, way too much time in that first section. Come on, get up the stupid roof! Are you kidding me? No way. Alright, uh, I did miss uh, actually getting up onto the, the cliff. But all you have to do is just, uh, you can actually kind of hang on the very edge of the cliff, and that'll work. As soon as you touch touch the snow on top of the, the cliff, you immediately win it. So you don't have to get too far in. As you can see, Murray starts half damage, which is not good, especially as long as this particular challenge took me. Uh, definitely not looking forward to this one. I wish they would have kept something else in that. Like this, the 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 RC car one is not a mission, or is not a challenge here in the the Master Thief challenges. I wish it was, but sadly it isn't. Oh, he's stuck over there. Uh, uh, but all, but all you have to do is just, just get to the very, the very edge uh, of the cliff, and, and you get it, you know, no problems. So you don't have to worry worry about it too much. Pay attention to Murray. Make sure you, whenever he gets stuck, have to help him. There he goes. He's stuck. Try to make sure I don't overheat the gun. Watch out for that. Pig there. How in the world did he die in two hits?
clear this out a little bit before freeing Murray. Oh wow, just about hitting. Are you kidding me? He cannot seriously die in two stinking hits. That there is no way you can sit here and do this stinking challenge like that. right there you cannot be stinking serious
should just have to worry about the ones in the front now since the van is blocking the rear for you so just worry about any guys keep an eye on the van though you you know I don't know I'm not sure if they can actually run around the if they can kind of glitch in between the wall or not it's like they're doing there I guess Murray's safe now so you shouldn't have to worry oh, that was definitely a lot harder than it needed to be most definitely a lot harder than it needed to be all right so defeat Sal without sustaining significant damage and this is just in his uh, boss the I guess mini boss fight which isn't that difficult like this this was actually uh, very easy you know even starting even starting out half health is uh, no problem now that I say that I'll probably probably die a few times but once you learn uh, how to how to really use the the double jump to change directions and you can ah crap so you could you can very easily uh, damage him while you know using that to your advantage again remember that you have quite a uh, quite a long reach so you don't actually have to get that close to him to be able to, to hit him when, when I took damage oh, and you only I guess you only have well you do get hit you do take two hits and you're dead and then you have to seriously sit through this that just makes it worse but uh once you attack you can only attack once in the air so that that does uh that does hurt you that doesn't that uh, means you cannot uh that means you cannot experiment as much as you need to like on the range or how, how wide your your reach is So you will have to keep that in mind, and you want to wait, just wait uh, for his fireballs to get right, uh, you know, really close to you before you jump, so that you can uh, have enough time in the air to be able to hit him. Uh, to to be able to hit him in the air without. Uh, no, it's so you'll have enough time in the air to use your double jump without uh, missing him completely. Not sure exactly what he's doing. Don't know why he kept jumping back and forth for. There we go. So we're about half health for each of us. He may have just a little bit lower than what I have. Probably you could have just hit him without using the double jump, but it's always best to, to be safe. Uh, but to be safe and sorry. So, two more hits should do it. Thankfully, this is not on a time limit. Oh, I guess just one more hit, hit will do it. That, that's good. But yeah, thankfully, he's not on a time limit. That definitely makes this a lot easier. So now we have to do the, the uh, treetop tangle and then Sal showdown defeat Sal without sustaining significant damage. Thankfully, there's no time limit again there, but I did take quite a bit of damage while doing the, the, this fight the first time. Probably do it again. I don't believe there was a way that I could have regained my health in the first fight, and I don't believe there is one here either. Again, sadly, you can't skip through that. But it's just like the first time you learn his attack patterns. He seems to have changed them a little bit. He did, I don't remember him immediately going into the spinning move quite so fast. Uh, that that move quite so fast. Now the the, the dragons are going to be the hardest part about this. You know, all of this is pretty easy to do. Just uh, learn, his, you know, learn his attack pattern, learn his movements. Be fast enough to to, to dodge everything. Uh, I tried to hit him just a few more times than I needed to.
I'll keep doing the bamboo trick. Seems to work okay. Not the best in the world, but it, it will. At least it keeps me from taking damage. But I don't get to, to hit him as much as I would like. If I was just staying on the ground attacking him. And what really stinks is that there's just no... Let me see if, let's see if I can use that uh, knockout. I don't want to use the knockout dive. I don't guess I can use the... I don't guess I can. Huh, that sucks. Uh I don't I don't guess I can use the the dodge move. And then this would this would be a, gr a great place for Oh, I that's right. I wanted to uh see if the smoke bombs would work. I doubt it <laughs> to be totally honest, but that seemed to do a whole lot for me. Well, a little bit, but it, but it keeps me from being able to see his attack. The black magic of the family Tau is unstoppable. But the dodge would definitely be nice. I wish I, I wish you could use that. But I just wish I, I just wish that the challenges wasn't in this at all. There's really no reason to you know that you could. How many ep how many episodes could you have added if you would have taken the challenges out? I don't necessarily want more jobs in the episodes, you know, I'd rather have uh, the jobs a little bit easier, uh, uh, you know, small, a little bit e smaller and easier and have more episodes, but it would be nice if they, you know, if they would have just taken out the challenges altogether and then just, uh, And then just uh, you know, like I said, added more, uh, adding more episodes. Ah, oh, come on. So it does nothing, and I did, honestly didn't figure it would, but all it's probably going to end up doing is just making me take damage because I because I can't see what his attacks are. Yeah, exactly. So. Come on. The black magic of the family town is unstoppable. 
there we go yes so if you notice what I did instead of being defensive I just went straight offensive and that seemed to work so I would definitely suggest doing that you know don't worry about being defensive just go straight offense and that seems to work a lot better than anything else so I'm definitely happy about that so from the back doors of the van the quest begins hunt for the tr treasure among Sal's sins okay so I just have to head towards the van and this is the one time that the marker actually helps us watch out for Carmelita faster. There's the van, so. Alright. Retrace the van's path for 13 paces, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Climb toward the pagoda to complete your path, 9 paces for yin, ying and 9 paces for yang. I wonder if that's it. Uh, I hope it is because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oops, ah, crap, I went too far. I believe you're supposed to do 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Grow closer to General Sal by taking 14 paces towards his village. That's a palace. I'm going to guess this is the village. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No. Oops. Ah, crap. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No. Take care of that guy real quick. There we go. I guess I'll try his palace. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, wait. Oh, vi visage. I don't know why in the world I saw that as village. I uh, I guess this is <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You are pushed away from safety and home again for fourteen paces. I guess this way one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. For nine paces, you travel under the cable and to the next arch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Listen to the tears and take seven paces towards the prison of Jing King. Wonder if seven paces will do it. I want to kill this guy real quick. Come on. Now. Seven. A long final push of 24 paces will lead you down a hard, lowly road. And you can move the camera around with the R1 button a little bit, but not too much. So I guess that, that will help you look around if you need to. So we got to go east. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And there you go. So not not too not too bad. This one was thankfully a lot easier than some of the other ones that we've had to do in the past, uh, namely the episode two one. But that was partially my fault. Don't, still don't know why I thought that said village instead of visage. But uh, anyway. 
so we will, uh, I'll talk about the inf information for these Master Thief challenges. Starting with Big Air in China. Definitely a pain. Big Air in China is the first Master Thief job, or the, the Master Thief challenge in Episode 4, Slide 3. In this challenge, Murray must use his ball move to reach all the waypoints without taking damage and before time runs out, so. Uh, next is Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter is, is the second Master Thief challenge in Episode 4, or Slide 3. This challenge is a variation of of tearful reunion where the Panda King must defend Murray and the van from General Sal's guards. Murray only has half health, uh, half the normal amount of life. So, Treetop Tangle. Treetop Tangle is the third Master Thief challenge in Episode 4, Slide 3. This challenge is a variation of Laptop Retrieval where Sly must defeat General Sal in the air. in the air battle with only half the normal amount of health. Sao Showdown is the fourth Master Thief challenge in Episode 4, Sly 3. This challenge is a variation of Laptop Retrieval where Sly must defeat General Sao in the ground battle with half the normal amount of health. And then Chinese Treasure Hunt. Chinese Treasure Hunt is the uh, fifth Master Thief challenge of Episode 4 of Sly 3, and the 27th of overall. The challenge is to find the hidden loot as located on the treasure map. So no other information or trivia, so uh, that's all of the information and trivia here. I uh, for, for the Master Thief challenges that I've done so far. Thank you for watching. As usual, I'm not going to have a challenge video since this, since I want to use this as a, a guide to help people with these challenges. Next time we will start Episode 5. So until then, later.